we're back with some Halo. I think I streamed Halo 1 on YouTube. Now we're st I'm streaming 2 on Twitch and 3 and they reach whenever I get to those will be next. I just need something to wash my... Change reason? I don't care for this. I think I just need something to wash my taste down. After what... We got from, um... Bill Spencer, what he said, like, oh yeah, no. We're not trying to compete and it's, or try to catch up. I'm trying to not make that great. We can't merely make great of games, so I'm I'm just not I'm gonna put that behind me. And we're just gonna play some Halo 2. Another Halo game I've not beaten, but I am excited to try try to beat it. The refund, the return. I think I said this on stream yesterday. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, for YouTube people, because I did not put that last. I did not put the last stream I did on YouTube, which was yesterday, which was a Wednesday VR stream. My, re my Amazon return has been, uh, you know, has been approved, and now my refund is now in the process. Also, we're going to do original graphics because I don't really care for the new graphics for Halo 2 because I don't think it's Halo. That's my opinion, but yeah. There was only one chief. One? Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. Hello, Keith Davis. Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. But I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. Yet the humans were able no. to your ships, land on the sacred ring. And desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble hierarchs. Surely you understand that once the parasite attacked. There will be order in this council. You were right to focus your attention on the flood. But this demon, this master chief. By the time I learned the demon's intent, there was nothing I could do. No! Council demands it. You are one of our most treasured instruments. Long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction, but your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. Nay, it was heresy. I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Soon the great journey shall begin. But when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. Earth. The plating was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics, totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? No. I don't Tell care.
<laughs> Tell that to the Covenant. So yeah, we use the Master Chief Collection again to play these. Um, we do have the original Xbox release, but... Uh, playing them playing uh, HD and looks nice, I guess. I did play it. Well, I guess it was all obsolete anyway. Your new suit's a Mark VI. Just came up from Songnam this morning. Mark VI. Take it easy until you get used to the upgrades. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light. Good. Now look at the bottom light. All right. Look at the top light again. That's it. Now the bottom one. Okay. Everything checks out. Stand by. I'm going to offline the inhibitors. Move around a little. Get a feel for it. When you're ready, come meet me by the zapper. This is my shadow. Um... Uh, keep it centered. I forgot that there's no subtitles. Pay attention, because I'm only going over this once. This station will test your recharging energy shields. Your new armor shields are extremely resilient, very efficient. Bingo. You... Uh, this is the controls I used, right? Halo 2. Yeah, that looks... That looks right to me. You can see they recharge a lot faster. If your shields go down, find some cover. Wait for the meter to read fully charged. That, or he can hide behind me. You done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry, I'll hold his hand. This game's a... So, Johnson, when are you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. <laughs> My ass? Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your age. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him an invitation. <laughs> I have to say, this game really pushed the Xbox, the original one. Looks really good. When I shipped out for basic, the orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put a round clean through a Covenant capital ship. But you do that. Coordinated fire from the Athens and the Malta. Nothing's getting past this battle cluster in one piece. Ships have been arriving all morning. Nobody's saying much, but I'll bet something big's about to happen. I hope so. Cargo station. Slow time's a little bit up there. You told me there wouldn't be any cameras. And you told me you were gonna wear something nice. Folks need heroes, Chief. Give them hope. So smile. 
But yeah, well, we still got something to smile about. That is true. Guy's getting destroyed over there. Agent 47? Oh. Gentlemen, we're lucky to have you back. It's Ron Perlman. Go ahead, Cortana. Another whisper, sir, near Io. We have probes en route. Uh, I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. You look nice. Thank you. Sergeant Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring devotion for a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps. There can be no greater heresy. Let him be an example for all who would break our covenant. His armor, no. Commander Miranda Keys, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. I hear Commander Keys' daughter is in this. Possible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best. space ruptures directly off our battle cluster show me 15 covenant capital ships holding position just outside the kill zone this is fleet admiral harper we are engaging the enemy negative admiral form a defensive perimeter around the cluster commander get to your ship link up with the fleet yes sir you have the mac gun cortana as soon as they come in range open up gladly something's not right the fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. They're going to try to take our Mac guns offline. Give their capital ships a straight shot at Earth. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. I need a weapon. So one thing this game adds from what I played of my youth. Who wheeled? <laughs> How's it going, Malta? Stand by. They're latched. Check your targets. Watch the crossfire. They're in standard formation. Little bastards up front, big ones in back. Good luck, Cairo. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, he's just holding it down. Oh shit. I am playing this on normal. I, I think after the last game, I think I'm just going to play Halo on normal. I mean, I could try... I could try Heroic, but eh. I want, game, I want this to flow a bit better.
Get my good old battle rifle. This game came out at a good time in gaming, I would say. Halo 2 release, this release. I forgot the other time, other games. But I know Half-Life 2, which is also planned for this year, maybe, if... It really uh if half-life decay solo missions get a um get a release this year no i might just do it i don't know yet i'm in the half-life moves mood still There's a flashlight. Oh wait, that's, there was a flashlight in the first game. Hey, when you gonna start fighting, Splitty? We've got orders from the Fort Pelican Bay. Oh, that got him. Hello in there. What is your status? Over. I don't believe it! They're retreating! We won! Are you sure? Don't, don't be too sure about that just yet. This is bad. Real bad. Do it. Let's do 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 a wheel again. Where are you, motherfucker? Oh hi. Let's say how are you still alive. That's where I need to go. I'm out of here. You know, I. Besides, like the uh, upscaling the game, well, remastering the game to look better. On a, I was about to shoot my teammate on a HD or HD console. The game still looks really good. I remember it really looking good on, on the Xbox, on the original Xbox when I played on there. I like Bungie style. Someday I want to do the marathon games because we go to the origin of Bungie in first person shooters. Hey, they're leaving the Athens. At some point, I'll do Destiny. To I'll play stream Destiny at some point on here. Oh, there. Same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them. A bomb. So I really like Destiny 2 a lot. Um, I wish. I wish. Um. Oh, I was worried here. I wish Bungie would put it on Linux, like. Allowed to be played off Linux. That'd be nice. So I can play on the Steam Deck or like when I get my new PC, which you know, the refund should be coming in my bank account any day now. I can play on there.
Is that a shotgun? That was indeed a shotgun. Oh my god, a shotgun! Let's not waste any shotgun. Oh, hi. Oh man, Halo. Halo is always a good time, I swear to god. I'm not even like an hour in, I'm enjoying myself already. I wish I could say that about modern Halo. Like, I like Halo Infinite enough, but... The game is not finished. And will never be finished, because it cancelled a lot of features. And it's just like, oh. It had fun multiplayer and that, but. Eh. And like, season. I, I remember, like, season two took forever to, like, come out. Offline personnel only, huh? Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, they did these cool space segments. I played the beginning of Halo 2 campaign, and I remember this whole area. Besides this, of course, but yeah, I remember... I do rem I do remember this when they did, like, a cool little space area. Sir, boarders have breached the fire control center. They have a bomb. I do, yeah, I could see the yes, Destiny. How, uh, uh... Chief, get to the bomb. Double you know, how Destiny got Cortana, its inspiration, of course, from this game. Which is, makes sense, you know. It's a bungee game. Second echelon, keep those carriers busy. Registering all hostile vessels. I might. I need to get a next gen console. I'm going if I don't say I'm going to stream Destiny, because I don't think. Bad and Bungie at this point, I don't think they will support Linux. If they do, that'd be great. But I might get an Xbox Series or PlayStation 5, because that's where most of my saves are. I play Destiny 2. I might just restart my character. I might make a new character. In Destiny 2, really. Start from the beginning. Because it's been a long while, and every time I come back to the game, there's so much content. That it's just like, I should start a new character at this point. Let me just lower the game for... I don't know if I... But yeah, Destiny 2 is my favorite, one of my favorites that I have not played in years. Do I just... Oh, I have to wait. Okay. Oh yeah, it was. It is. This time we're playing a, I'm playing a good game. And a finished one at that, so I'm not gonna really say everything. I'm just gonna enjoy Halo. So I really like Halo. Besides AE, I know what you're really here for, and you have to wait a bit for that. I, I'm sorry, you have to wait. 
It's okay to be wait, wait, waity. Wait, waity? It's okay to wait. Be patient. You're gonna get your time. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean that way, God. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to fall for a second. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. No, no, no. It's really how I get through that. You may need to get creative. Return to sender. Let's go. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. All right, here comes the excellent music, by the way, with this fucking series. The game's not too loud. Oh. Meet inside your head now. Oh, okay. It's good? Okay. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Cairo, this is an ember class. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Well, simping the knights, on the other hand, is going to be a bit... Not on your own. Sir. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their- Yeah, it is a perfect Star Wars day game, huh? Space. Has space, like, soldiers. I know what you're thinking, and it's crazy. So, stay here. Unfortunately <laughs> for us both, I like crazy. I was actually thinking of playing a Star Wars game, but like, I have none. I could have just played Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2. That's in there. Just one question. What if you miss? I think this game is the perfect- this is the start of Master Chief being crazy. But how he does half of this shit. Like, you don't need to do this. But it's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly, sir. You know, it just makes it. Gear up. We're taking the spice of the surface.
Okay. Beat the... Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Xbox game bar notifications. Oh, shit. How do I turn that off? <laughs> I forgot about that because I haven't used... Xbox game ball. Xbox... No. Stop it. Oh, wow. It's just repeats. Regret. Regret. Okay. Regret. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the core... Uh, why is the... System settings... The windows glitching? I'm... Oh, I can't wait to build the PC and not use windows anymore. Ugh. Your call, Sarge. We're going in. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines. Master Chief, get aboard that carrier. You're the prophet of regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That prophet is going to tell us why. I wonder if this is the level with the original ODST armor. Whoa. Hey, wake up. See your own modern looking for its own good. <laughs> they regret that too. Good chapter name. So I do have to unfortunately bring up that, um, the, the, What? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... <sighs> Windows, please. Okay. Just a notification. Stop! Notifications. Uh... <sighs> Xbox Game Bar is such its own beast. It sucks. Uh, I have to fiddle with that. So you're gonna hear the achievement noise twice. Um, and I'm sorry for that. But there's nothing I could do right now. Um, as I was gonna say, um, I had to unfortunately bring up that the development of this game was kind of was quite hell from from looking at the behind the scenes of making Halo Two. Um, the develop development team was rushed, out, like, really rushed to make this game for a 2004 deadline. And I think they did fight for, like, a delay. I think the original release date was, like, 2003-something. But, uh, they did fight Microsoft, and the, like, the best they could do is, like, a tw 2004 release date. So, yeah, it's... And, like, the demo, though, they had the E3 demo, and that was, like, made with, like, duct tape and glue. So, if, like, if anything bad, like, anything, like, incorrect happened, uh, the whole demo would just, like, destroy the crash, this crash. So, yeah, this game did not have the best... Did not have the best development. Um... But they got it out the door, and it's still a great game. It's just, uh, I'm just gonna say outright that ter the ending's not, you know, the best. But yeah, no, it, it's just, it really is unfortunate. Yeah. The yeah, I, f I don't know when they started development, because 2001 Halo 1 released with the Xbox. And, um... 
I don't know when they started development. Um, it's Halo 4, Halo 2 released in 2004. So it could have been a three year development cycle, which I, fe I, be I feel like they really needed more. Um, we got jackals in the courtyard. There we go. Oh. And I would say, like, this is, that was, like, the beginning of, you know, Bungie wanting out, but, like, you know, they wanted to finish the games, and I feel like you don't rush Bungie. Uh, because I remember, I know, like, the development of the Marathon games back in, like, the 90s, they did take their time, because they just did them themselves. And that, you know, that was on the Mac platform, so they didn't really need to rush anything. So yeah, um... I think Halo 3 did fared better in development. If I, I don't know. I haven't watched the vid decks in a while. Which is like, um, you know, Bungie's behind the scenes stuff for each game. I love that Bungie did a lot of behind the scenes, like, videos and stuff. It really, like, really kept me, uh, really kept the development of Halo fresh, because Bungie is an amazing team. I like the stuff they make. Um,. It's unfortunate some things now, like modern bun some modern bungee things is kind of mad, but I think they kind of- Where do I have to go? Um, but I think they can make a really good game. I think I have to go up here. Because I, again, I like Destiny. Yes, it's a live service game, but I enjoy, enjoy it a lot. You know, there's always that one live service game that you just want to play. Um, and to me, Destiny and Destiny 2, of course, the only the mon place again are like live service games that I would like to like to play a lot. Um, and I have not played in a while because um, PC, my laptop's not that good at running it. I don't have space on my PS4 to play it right now, even though, and that's where I have mo like some of the DLC. Um. I feel like Xbox One would run it like shit. Like, there's a lot of reasons right now. And... I wish Bungie... Su I wish there was, like, Linux support. Like, full-on Linux support. So, one, I could either play on the Steam Deck without installing Windows, because I'm not installing a whole operating system just to play that one... this one game. Um, and, um, to, or two, and two play, also I can play on PC and get, like, high frame rates, because I know I want 100 fucking, 144 hertz frame rate out of that game, but yeah. Oh, shit. Hunters. Oh, that we don't have the Halo One pistol anymore, so we can't kill these things with two, with one, one or two shots. Why did I do this? But yeah, and I like Marathon. Uh, Marathon is free. Like you can just play the original like Marathon games for free, um, because it's open source. It's an open source port now, and. It's nice to play Bungie's history. Especially if you get, like, you know, a modern Mac and play on there. Like, you get... You get the original, kind of authentic feel of Marathon. I will go through Marathon. Because Marathon... I have it on Steam Deck, actually, Marathon, right now. Um...
Yeah, I, I, I'm excited to try those out. Cause I, I, Marathon's a game I played a lot of, so let me talk about Marathon. Let me talk about the Marathon, even though we're playing Halo, but it counts because it's what led to Halo. Um, I played a lot of Marathon, but I never beat it. I played it on, you know, Mac. Not the original Mac version, I mean like the source port. Um, PC iPad and Xbox and I played multiplayer the game is fucking fun <laughs> like it really is this like 90s bungee at its best and again that it was a Mac game like it bungee made a Mac game where in the 90s you know Macs were confusing but they were you know Apple's going with the you know also, 90s, you know, no one was gaming on Mac, but, like, because of that, Bungie was like, you know, we could get... No one's really competing in the Mac market, so... We'll make... We'll make a new... We'll make a first-person shooter that... Also, at the time, Apple was going through the power PC uh, transition, so... So they really developed for the power PC for those, you know, new power Macintoshes and all that. And, um... It was, like, one of the best Mac games, because it's... was specifically made for Mac. It... It's really nice. It's, it's really cool. It kind of makes me wish I was, like... I grew up in the 90s, being a Mac fan. And do all that shit, that'd be fun. So, you know, they went from, you know... After Marathon, they were developing Halo, and Halo was going to be a completely different game than um, what it, what we got now. It was actually going to be an RTS, RTS game, a real-time strategy game, and um, I should have really sailed that from the first game. I don't remember if I did. Oh man, I'm getting... I'm really getting brain rot if I don't remember what I my, what I said in other streams. But um, so Halo was gonna be an RTS game, and then I think they ma wanted to make it a, a um a third person shooter. And then you know Microsoft wanted exclusive game for the Xbox, so they they partnered with Bungie to make put Halo on the Xbox, which probably was the best idea Microsoft had um because it made me interested in the xbox but we never had one oh um but yeah and now here we are with halo 2 i like bungie so i know like a lot about bungie So I, I, it's rare for me to actually talk about like a games company besides Sega. Even then, Sega's confusing history. Is just, eh? <laughs> At least with Bungie, it is really straightforward. You know, I think you know, Bungie created a lot of Macintosh games back in the '90s, and then made Marathon, and then made Halo, and all that. So. A day at the beach. And now Bungie just makes, you know, now they're bought by Sony. They don't, uh, sadly, don't make Mac games anymore. That would have been kind of cool if they made Mac games again. But I feel like, especially now when Apple Silicon is becoming like apple's trying to really push like oh yeah apple silicon can game and it, it can like resident evil village is now in the, at as a mac game has a mac port and it's i heard it's very good so like i i hope bungie put hit destiny 2 on mac that'd be kind of nice and then also have a
I wouldn't say like a Linux port, but like at least a way to play like Destiny 2 on Linux. That'd be nice. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. I want to play Destiny 2 again. <laughs> um. I don't have a weapon. Oh, they... They killed them. Yeah. The war thing in this game is really good. So I... When Halo Reach didn't have dual wield, like, didn't really care. Neither did Halo Infinite, or 5, or 4. What a weird, like, feature to um, omit. I kind of understand with Reach, because that's kind of be like a prequel thing. And be like, oh yeah, think of dual wield, and you're not Master Chief. In that game, as well. That's no way as cool as Master Chief. But yeah, it's weird. Now, I don't have memories of playing Halo 2 online because when we got the Xbox, uh, it was long after the, like, commercial life of it. I did it stupid. But it was long before the commercial life of Halo, of ha Xbox. Uh, my brother's friend just gave us his Xbox. And that's where we played a lot of Halo 1 and 2. Mostly 2, of course, because 2 had better, like, multiplayer. Just better stuff. Um, but the ex the original Xbox was uh, like Xbox for the Xbox in the house for a while until we got a 360 in 2010. I said this all in the Halo 1 thing, all the stream, which you'll be able to watch my Halo 1 stream. There is, it is on YouTube. I think under the live tab actually because I streamed that on YouTube, but yeah, um. I don't recall playing as much, that's fair. Let's hold the use terminal. Oh. Okay. I don't want to, I don't really care for that. But yeah, I played a lot of Halo multiplayer. Never be in the campaigns for one, for one, two, and three. But I did for Reach, because Reach was like my first Halo Xbox, Xbox 360 game. Really loved the Xbox 360. And um, how did I miss that? And, um... And actually, I played a lot of Halo 1 on Mac. Uh, the demo Halo 1 on Mac, um, had a... Had multiplayer. Like, they- the demo f Had a lot of players, from what I remember. The Halo 1 Mac demo 
had a lot of players on like game spy servers and all that uh which are now long dead because game spy is dead and um it was really cool because i just played a lot of multi it was most mostly the one map but the one map kept me entertained for like For like years to come. Stand tall, man. And that's where I'm like, ah, I'll, I'll game on Linux for fun. L on Linux, a game on Mac for fun. Wow, I can't. Which then, fan when. When the GameSpy servers went down, they did make a, like, they did make a way, a fan way of playing that. Um, I think it's all, I, it was also my first glimpse of playing Halo on, on multiplayer, so I didn't, I, I, my time, my first Halo multiplayer, online multiplayer, uh, besides Halo 1 Mac was, can you stop, was Halo Reach on 360. Can you stop moving? Oh my god, whatever. Um, fans re like remade, like did their own servers, it's private servers, and now and all that for the Halo One multiplayer. It, it is the Halo One Mac demo has a weird fan base, and I love that it has a weird fan base because you don't really, you didn't really, they didn't really need to, but they did. Sadly, you know, it's still up. Good thing, but you do need like a version of Mac OS that still supports 32-bit um, applications because Apple did have an uh, OS version that did not support 32-bit 32-bit application anymore. So. So. You know, that's kind of dead, but, like, I, I feel like a lot of Mac fans have, like, older Macs with, like, the versions of Mac OS that run, Mac, uh, run, that can run the game. So. So that's not really a problem. It's just, I feel like now, Microsoft could... Microsoft could just release... Um, the Master Chief Collection on Mac, and it would be really cool, but it's Microsoft, so I don't know. They want us to use the Windows 11 and the 10. And I said, no, sir. Which, I heard the Master Chief Collection is now playable on Steam Deck because they actually allow it for the online servers to be played on the Steam Deck, which is very nice. I need to install uh, that. Yeah, I can't. My lap, the laptop I'm using can't upgrade to Windows 11. So even if I, if I, even if I could, I think I wouldn't. The mini PC I got, which I returned, had Windows 11, and I saw a brief, a, a brief glimpse of it. And I'm like, huh, that's Windows 11. But I, I mean, it was just like, oh yeah, sign in meant like this, like st start the starting page thing where you sign in and all that. And then I in installed Linux and and then the rest is history where I just returned it right after. It was in it's not for what I needed that computer so yeah Windows 11 I think the rumor is Windows 12 is being in development or something which it wouldn't be surprising at all Windows 12 but hearing a lot of like you can't sign in you have to like you have to do the network thing 
Um, no way to like not you. No way to sign in low uh, offline. It, it's a lot of dumb things. Microsoft keep having ways to make sure you use Microsoft Edge, which a couple of times when I started using the laptop again, because I need to right now. Uh, I I see Microsoft Edge pop up on my fucking out of nowhere. And it's like, can you not? I don't want to use Microsoft Edge. I mean, I if I have to use a Chromium web browser, I'm just going to use Chrome. Google Chrome because I like Google Chrome. If anything, a hey, uh, be people would also buy a, like a laptop as well. Just I think for me, like. I think people would buy a laptop more because you can easily take it anywhere and it has a keyboard, which is better for fucking t doing work. Um, but yeah. Uh, and, and tablets as well is way better. Um, phones, I feel like nowadays, you know, it, you, you just take it out when you're on like the train or on the or just like don't have anything else. And of course, you make phone calls and all that. But laptops, I feel like, are the better fit for like needing something. Like I would use a laptop for stuff, or, or like to go out. I like a Chromebook for me. I have a Chromebook, which I like to use. Bigger screen and also a keyboard is way better. Uh, a physical keyboard is way better than doing a all, you know, on board on. Touch typing, which touch typing is good for text messaging, of course. I love, te you know, but but non-work and non-gaming reasons. That's actually, I feel like, yeah, they would mostly get maybe just get a tablet or like a f use their phone. If anything, you know, get it like a they would get like a MacBook Air, which is like. Or like you know a low a co low cost MacBook. The covenant must be trying to regroup. Uh, you supposed to have a vehicle here. I'm an idiot and don't have a vehicle. Um, yeah, no. I feel like Macs, like MacBooks, are the best for like casual people. Like the like non pro grade MacBooks are really good. Get good speedy laptops, but. All you get good, really good, speedy laptops, but all and you know you can do other things with them. Still, um, so don't do what I did here. Get, make sure you have a vehicle. Yo, can I drive this car? This is due to always having been in the house for all my life. Yeah, no, I... I grew up with a computer in the house, so like I always had a computer in my room. When I start, I was allowed to use uh, the internet. Um, I'm not. I'm not. It doesn't feel weird to me watching stuff on my phone when I need to, like when I'm not like at the house at least. Um, but I, I always like using computer. Honestly, I would. Honestly, if I ever like, you know, have a family. 
which I don't even see myself having one at all. I might, you know, I would get like maybe an iMac or as a family computer so all family members can use it. Um, and just have a nice workhorse. It's my main computer. But, um... But yeah, I, I can't, like, a computer, I need a computer. Like, smart TVs, I can, I like smart TVs, which, well, watching stuff on the TV, I like, and watching stuff on my phone, I like as well, but not the ideal way. I think that's why I got a Chromebook. Because, you know, it's a computer still, even if it's limited in a lot of ways. But it's, you still, it's still a computer. You're still watching stuff like, like it's a computer. It's nice, you know, it's nicer on the eyes. Oh yeah, no. I don't think we had a family computer. I, I had my own like Windows XP machine. Which I wish I still didn't- I wish I did not get destroyed, but I destroyed. Like, my own XP machine, I watched a lot of YouTube. Saw Smash Bros. Brawl, Japanese version, where I saw all the characters before the dojo of- The American dojo- Smash Dojo site uploaded them. But yeah, I always had the, I always had a computer to myself. We couldn't use that night, huh? Yeah, that would be a pain. I'm happy we did. There was one. There was one computer to be shared. Um, it's like a family TV, but on the computer, but a computer. Yes, which I know we had a family TV that we like to use, what, you know, play games or watch shows. So I understand that feeling. All right. <laughs> um, it's that all. Fuck you. Um, but my dad had a, had a computer he got from work. He brought it into the house. It had like an NVIDIA GeForce 210 or something. 220. It was like a one gigabyte VRAM card. But it did the trick for most of, uh, most of my PC gaming of the early 2010s. Like it started out me playing like Star Wars The Old Republic, which is an MMO. Um, if you did not know, um, played a lot of that. It was pretty good. And then I got, I got into Steam finally after going so high on the um, on cloud gaming on live phase of my life, which I liked on live, but um, that died. And I was on a Mac. I was using a Mac for that. Um, and but yeah, that game, that computer had was fine for gaming. I got me through a lot uh, due to where due to where it had it was always in a hot room during the summer and we used to run it hot even though I said, "Hey, can I put this in my room so it could be in a cool environment?" and they're like, "No." It's like, "Okay, I guess." Then my brother blames me. "Oh, you had the fan on the wrong way. The fa you had the case facing the wrong way where the fan was." It's like, "No, it was it was on the right way. You just had it. We all had it in the hot, very hot room in the summer where that computer died. So yeah, that can. So that died. So I was stuck on the, my brother's MacBook Pro and then my mom gave me 
when she when my mom got her new MacBook Pro, she gave me her MacBook uh original MacBook Pro. And then I took that MacBook Pro that she bought and used that a bit. And then I got this gaming laptop and now I'm building myself a gaming a, a good PC at this point. Because I'm fucking done I'm trying to use a laptop. I'm trying to use a trying to use a uh, rebuilt thing. It blew right through us. Fifty cal rockets didn't do a thing. I'm just waiting for the refund money to come in at this point, so I could just buy it. I have it in cart. Still 206, around 994 dollars. Not 94, 64. I was just looking at it. No, sir. Then listen up. The chief is gonna jump in this tank, roll across the bridge, and blow up any inhuman son of a bitch. Ah, the old Windows 90 DOS 90 through point one and Windows 98. We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Chief. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir. I think, I think the... the he never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the lid is like. Yeah, the oldest OS was Windows XP for me. That's why I love XP so much. And Mac OS 10.5... Uh, a was the second oldest I used. And then I used, I think I used Vista at one point in my life. And then I used Windows 7, then Windows 8, then Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. And some modern versions of Mac OS, so. So I've been through a lot of the Windows. And I'm, I'm, I don't, and I'm kind of just done with Windows nowadays. So I'm ready to. I'm ready to try to be part of the Linux flat, like, realm. You know, I was using, I was, I, I was using Linux since early 2010s so I'm like Ubuntu and stuff on my dad's laptop. And then I was a newbie back then, so I didn't know how to make the Linux OS run better on that laptop, so. This is a very slow part. And of course, you know, I have the Steam Deck nowadays, which is basically a PC. You know, it has a PC operating system in it. It does a good job of it. Uh, but at the end of the day, this, I treat it as a console more or less these days. Even though... You know, it's still a PC, so I can install non-Steam games. It's nice. Why does the music sound so low? That's why. There we go. Yeah, that's my Windows... I guess that's my computer, like, history, I guess. I didn't really start PC gaming until the early... Early PC gaming until the early 2010s. What that computer my dad had. I was Mac gaming. I know that. I was playing, like, Star Wars and I... Actually, I think I wasn't playing Star Wars, Star Wars Knights of the Republic 1 on Mac because we didn't know how to install it until I finally figured out years later. It's like, oh, you drag and drop it on the computer, duh. I 
I think I was playing it though, I forgot. For Steam, maybe. Mm. It was a weird time. That's quite a and I used a lot of, I used iPad a lot. I remember, I had the iPad too. For like years. And that was also like my daily driver as well. And I had an iPhone. Which, you know, that iPad now is very old. It has the, um... Before, you know, the old cable, charging cable that they had for, like, the original iPhone and the iPads and all that. So, I can't, I don't, we don't even have that cable anymore. So, that's unusable, unless I buy a cable online, which I'm not. And... My iPhone days are gone, done. I'm on Android at this point. I think this thing is going to explode, so... I do miss iPad though. I really like I really like iPads, but I'm not paying money for one right now. Oh, good. Fucking vehicle. Yeah, hold on. What are you doing? Hello? It's tight quarters on the other side, sir. Use this. Uh. No, you no, know yeah. Is it over? Move up. I fucking love the music of this game. Halo music. Halo music is amazing. I say it all the time. They had a good... They had a good, like, composer that Mon and Bungie was stupid enough to let go for no reason. So that was fun when that news broke. And Destiny's... Uh, I wouldn't say, like, Destiny... Destiny soundtrack. Like, the first... I, I think the first, like, soundtrack they had for Destiny 1 was the same guy. And it was fantastic, but, like, after... After they got rid of him, it... Uh, it didn't really hit that... Really didn't hit. Didn't hit. No more sniper! But I think they got, like, the non, like, the non, I forgot. I think the soundtrack for Destiny got better later on. So the more they got the new composer for that, it was really amazing. God, I just want to play Destiny 2 again. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying that, but like it's true. It's just like I just want to play Destiny 2 again. I miss my setup. I did watch today, um, someone playing the original Destiny on 360. And, um, Which, uh, at that time, when Destiny 1 came out, it was still doing, like, 
the multi-platform error, multi-platform cross-platform um, release releases. Which makes sense, you know. It was a 2014 game, so yeah. But yeah, it looked still good. The Xbox version of the Xbox 360 version of Destiny 1. I played a lot of Destiny 1 on PS4 with friends. Like, Destiny 2 have a lot of hours in online with people playing the game, the story. And the um, raids, not raids, but like strikes and, and also raids, I guess. As well, when I try to raid out of This is just me like liking Bungie games to stream. <laughs> While Halo play, Halo 2 plays as a background it's welcome to my bungee uh bungee uh, liker podcast i like bungee we, we we're playing halo 2 uh no um some things mod and bungee really i just dis despise but like i like destiny 2 a lot i just want to play destiny 2 again and I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to go through that trip again. I'm ready. I just want to start a new character, and just start from the beginning and start do all that again. So I have a lot. I just need to buy all the DLCs for the game as well. All the expansions I have. I think I have like two or three expansions. And not take his weapon. Man. Take a look at it. When I asked for reinforcements, I didn't think they'd send us far. We got trouble. I need to get out of here. I would say almost an hour 30 and I'm just not even bored of this game. I'm enjoying myself. I think of what's helping is that I'm keeping myself busy as well with talking. But also the game is just... What the fuck? The game is also just so fun. It's just... What, what is the story? What even is the story anyway? So, uh, after the events of Halo 1, uh, the, uh, the, co the elite, uh, uh, the co basically for right now, the Covenant is attacking Earth right now, which is the alien, the bad aliens that you see trying to kill us. And, um, we have to stop them. There's also going to be a new... There's also the... The Arbiter, which we see in the first one, the first cutscenes we see is with him, uh... Being interrogated... Because he failed the mission of protecting Halo. Which is not the... The Arbiter's the... It's, um... The... He's on, you know, the alien... The guy you can play as in Mortal Kombat! Uh, Mortal Kombat. Wow, and Kill Instinct. I don't know why I said Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that guy. But he's in this game. 
and he's getting interrogated and not everyone on the Covenant team is not happy with him failing the mission of protecting Halo. So they're torturing him right now. Well, all this shit happens. But yeah, this... You know, alien war, right, uh, war against the aliens right now. The Covenant. <laughs> really, it's just a simple plot, but there's a lot more to it when we get more to into the game. Halo 2 uh, on the Master Collection also also does the thing of um, allowing you to switch from the new gr uh, the anniversary graphics, which I'm fine playing with the original because I don't think the anniversary graphics look Halo to me. Yeah. Alien story invasion is always the right answer. There's gonna be a lot more complex, complex. There's a lot more complexity to it too in this. Ma'am, without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. Now, would we treat them? That's a good question. By, so, by the way, this destroyed city that's happening right now is going to be what uh, Halo 3 ODST is going to take place. Which is going to be a future game I'm going to stream because I love Halo, Halo 3 ODST a lot. I, d I, I did not die? What do you mean I didn't die? Oh yeah, okay, so this is the first Arbiter mission. Jesus Christ. I just take the achievement. Okay, yeah. The per score? What? I'm getting a lot of achievements. Also, also, the Arbiter is voiced by Keith Davis. Also, we heard, we heard Ron Perlman before. Yeah, no, he got stripped of his armor. <laughs> Can't have shit on the Covenant uh, ar army. Of the hunters, 
the Grunt Rebellion. Were it not for the Arbiters, the Covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. The Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They would use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey. So this heretic and those who follow him must be silenced. Their slander offends all. What use? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not as you are, no. But become the Arbiter, and you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. Fuck the council. Undertake as the arbiter of perils. Suicidal. You will die as each arbiter has before you. The council will have their course. What would you have your Arbiter do? So yeah, what now we're going to play the Arbiter. We took an oath, according to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the covenant, even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. <coughs> we shall grind them into dust and continue our march to glorious salvation. Well, just a lot of infighting between the Covenant as well. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the Arbiter. matter to me yours does not at least two of us mm. <laughs> Oh, we get the energy sword early. We are the arm of the prophets, Arbiter. And you are the blade. Guess that's why. Be silent and swift, and we shall quell this heresy without incident. Okay, I think that's good enough for today. We'll play the Arbiter in um, the next session. So far, Halo Tool is really fun. So I can't wait to do some more of it tomorrow and probably be the only thing with the mixture of... um, What's it called? Minecraft tomorrow. I think I'm doing Minecraft tomorrow. I'm not going to do... Sift in the night. Speaking of which, uh, I'm going to play all the a tune and then we're going to get ready. You're going to see me set up um, a new scene in OBS Live uh, because I don't have the correct scene for what I want to do. Alright, so I got a song here. I'm going to play it. 
and then we'll be right uh, i'll be right back all right see you all later Thank you all for watching Halo 2. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back.